Into Properties was formerly Capital Shopping Centres Group and is a British real estate investment trust or a British REIT. It's largely focused on shopping centre management and development. Indeed, so it has 18 of the largest UK regional shopping malls and UK of course is a country where you can't somehow build another one out in the field because that sort of thing doesn't happen. So these are very, very valuable properties with substantial infrastructure, food courts, hundreds of thousands of parking bays. You can picture them, similar to our large malls, and they are located across the UK, yeah. but with some pretty big ones in the London vicinity as well as in Manchester and beyond. Into has a market cap of 64 billion rand, a historic yield of 5.6%. Mm. Lance, take us through the option here for Into Properties. So you're getting very much a retail UK-focused investment opportunity in the, in the property, in the retail property space. And Brexit really overhangs and overshadows this investment dramatically. Um, it's a yielding stock, so some of these are capital appreciation stocks. This one has got quite a nice yield. I don't know if you can call the pound a hard currency anymore. Uh, so <laughs> that's <rude>. the, <laughs> Well, that's what it's come down to. And so you've got a, a pound a GBP exposure of five, five, over 5.5%. Five mm. So that's the attraction here. This is really if you want pound income. The capital appreciation has not been there, unfortunately. It's, it was sort of bubbling along and then Brexit came and really fell off the edge of a cliff. So the returns from the capital part, the, the share price, have been very, very poor. Is it at the bottom? Is there upside? Th that's really it. I think because it's exposed to the UK broadly, it's most probably a negative. Maybe if it's more London focused, that is the positive. Well, let's, let's have a look. Uh, to, at let's the have a look at the share price. So you can see it's taken a bit of a tumble, but I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get my head around the underlying opportunity here. You know, like a core pro uh, uh, asset of theirs is like the Trafford Centre in Manchester. It was built, it took 10 years to get planning approval. It's an enormous, enormous property within Manchester. It's within 45 minutes drive of 10% of the UK population. And as we know in property, it's all about location, location, It's got location. a food court, which is as big as you can imagine with like a boat-like sort of cruise boat thing because it was built on the old shipyards. It's a magnificent property. It's got all of the stores. It's probably battling at the moment because the perception is that they're going to be slightly higher than average occupancies and then unfortunately it results in sort of anxieties about cash flows i can understand why it's gone down there's you know poor weak retail sales we've mm. seen there's worries about brexit and its lasting implications there's are all of that are you saying at the end of the day that this, is all, online that this is all cyclical and that it will recover and this is the buying opportunity that lands that's what i'm trying to is that where you're going with this but what about the online shopping threat yeah very much so it's quite experiential going to the shopping malls i think there still is yeah. that but th but that is a, a popular threat. place 35 million view visitors in in one year yeah these look these are good assets as you point out is there better value elsewhere i think there is and let's go through the rest of the stocks so i'm I, i'm holding so you're holding on out because one. of the relative game here. yes that's right so, so not, not hot not hot, not hot, on hot. This one. hot or not you know, I'm just of the view that somehow or another the UK is going to stumble through this and that retail sales are going to rebound. So I'm going to go with heart on this one. You just can't get negative about anything. <laughs>